So if I sound a bit weird in this video, it's because I'm kind of, you know, ill. But whatever, YouTube doesn't wait around for you even when you're dead, so I better talk about some tech news. And oh boy do we have some exciting tech news today. Because out of nowhere, AMD announced and released the brand new Ryzen 7 5700X. That's right, this CPU we all kind of expected to be there on the original Ryzen 5000 launch finally arrived near the end of the Ryzen 5000 life cycle. As you can expect from a Ryzen 7 CPU, this thing is an 8 core 16 thread CPU that is, for all intents and purposes, pretty much the Ryzen 5800X. The same amount of cores, the same amount of threads, same amount of cache, the only difference is the 100 megahertz higher boost clock, which you can pretty much just do yourself via overclocking anyway. And all of that and nothing more for a mere $300 or around $40 less than what they currently charge for a Ryzen 5800X. Now there's two different ways you can kind of think of the CPU, which will dictate on whether or not you should buy it. You can either think of it as a $40 discounted Ryzen 5800X, which is just a tiny bit slower, but so much so that pretty much you won't notice a difference, or you can think of it as a slightly cut back Ryzen 5800X. And odds are, if you're already spending $300 on a CPU, you can probably save up an extra $40 or so for a 5800X and it's whopping 100 megahertz more boost clock. Man, no matter how you phrase it, it's really kind of hard to get excited for this ship, you know? And AMD didn't seem to be excited about it as well. It was released with absolutely no ceremony, with just a post on the social media accounts, literally no word anywhere else, not even a trailer or anything on the YouTube channel, literally nothing. Just a link to a new egg page, and that's it. Not to mention that it's being released right near the end of the life cycle of Ryzen 5000 and the AM4 socket in general, seeing how next generation CPUs, Ryzen 7000, on the brand new AM5 socket are supposed to be launching later this year. So unless you just really need a Ryzen 5000 CPU for a low price right now, then I'd probably just suggest practicing patience and waiting until Ryzen 7000 releases. And honestly, seeing how popular previous 700X SKUs were, it's just kind of weird that AMD decided to take this popular CPU and release it so late. And if it was just released alongside the main Ryzen 5000 launch, it would have done amazingly well and definitely would have outsold even the Ryzen 5800X. But whatever, I'm just ill and I don't have the energy to be mad. So I guess uh, that's it. I'll just go back to dying. But now before, I tell you about our merch store, which is going to be down in the video description below. Where you can get awesome stuff like, for example, this sweatshirt, which definitely will keep you warm if you're feeling under the weather. Down there, you're also going to find our Patreon, and even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get a lot of awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shin Warcraft, Lansby, Comic Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herburn. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down there, also going to find our Discord server if you talk to me or others at this or whatever else really, plus down there's our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.